everybody, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed, blessed day. Um, so this word, oh my goodness, it's very layered. Um, so you might want to take notes or if you are a note taker, this is one for sure that you're going to want to take notes. Um, because a lot of things that the Lord gave me separately, like, and then he brought it all together. So just to kind of follow along and get the full meaning of it, um, you might want to write stuff down or rewatch it more than once because maybe you might catch something the first time and uh, or the second time that you didn't catch the first time, stuff like that. Okay, so um, where it starts. Okay, on this day, which was the 29th. 7 29 24 um holy spirit was like watch this word and because of the title i was like god i don't know I, like i already know right um the title of it um had something to do with jezebel right and i'm like i already know i'm like no he's like watch it and i'm like oh. okay so i watched it and what stood out it was like the same thing about jezebel right um but what this sister in Christ said that Holy Spirit was like ding 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 um was that a family member so she said a family member sacrificed you um and when she said that I was like oh right Holy Spirit and immediately a person came to mind okay so I already knew so basically confirming what I already knew deep down. Okay. Um, yeah, so that was that. And I had never heard anybody say that in a word. Like, you know, that uh, that somebody had sacrificed you, um, like, as a, to the enemy, right? They That they made a covenant or something with the enemy and... Um, uh, used you as a sacrifice, right? I was like, okay, and then immediately a person came to mind, so I knew, okay, Holy Spirit, that's what Holy Spirit really wanted me to get out of that word, uh, you know, something new, because the rest of the stuff I was like, I like Holy Spirit had already been talking to me about. Um, and then there was this other word, uh, that Holy Spirit wanted me to, to, um, to listen to but I was like uh, I don't know um, and so I clicked on it but then I don't know what happened and I didn't get to listen to it um, and then I forgot about it um, but then the next day on the 30th which was yesterday today's the 31st um, yesterday um, in the morning or early afternoon a sister in Christ sent me that video, the one I didn't finish watching. Uh, and I was like, okay, Lord, okay, I'm gonna listen to it. So I listened to this word and I always write down everything. And that might be confirmation for some of you start writing everything down, okay? Um, and so this word, um, uh, she said what the other one had said. She's like, somebody sacrificed you. And I'm like, okay, yeah. Or like, yeah, it was God confirming that, right? And this one, the, uh, she said um, it was either a family member, a, a lover or ex or uh, an entity, um, a group of people sacrificed you, right? they made a covenant with the enemy and uh, like demonic covenant and that they used you as a sacrifice right and i'm like oh my goodness lord oh my goodness but then um like holy spirit that's why i tell you guys take everything back to the lord the lord will give you what's for you and remove what's not for you okay you everything you hear you don't take it in until god confirms it like I can listen to a lot of things, but I don't receive until Holy Spirit is like, this is for you, receive it, okay? 
So I want you guys to, to grow in that discernment and to grow in depending on God and to really have him filter out uh, what's for you and what's not for you. He will tailor it specifically for you, okay? So with this one, Holy Spirit was like, reminded me that the day before, the night before he gave me scripture. And I had put it on my story. It was this post about like the gate, how Jesus is the gate and um, he takes care of his sheep, right? It was based off of John 10, 10. And so when I saw that post, Holy Spirit was like, uh, nobody can snatch you out of the Father's hands, okay? And so let's look for it. It's John 10. John 10, 28 and 29, hold on. Go and read all of John 10, just read all of it, but I'm only gonna uh, read what Holy Spirit highlighted for me, okay? Um, my sheep listen to my voice, I recognize them. They follow me and I give them eternal life. They will absolutely never be destroyed and no one, will snatch them from my hands. My father who gave them to me is greater than all and no one can snatch them from the father's hands. I and the father are one. So since going back to the that second word that said the same thing that the other word had said, like I was already full on going to receive. Okay, I was sacrificed, you know, but Holy Spirit was like, don't fully receive. And he reminded me of the scripture that he had given me the night before. And he was like, nobody can snatch you from the Father's hands. And so I was like, oh, okay, okay. So the Holy Spirit was like, they tried. They tried ride and then holy spirit started downloading so much and i'm like oh my goodness okay they tried to sacrifice you or me because he wants me to share so it's not just for me they tried to sacrifice you they tried okay and this is what's happening and this is where the anointing i'm gonna go into teaching a little bit towards the end um he wants me to talk about the or i can just do it now uh the the anointing the watchman anointing because he did say um in videos a few videos ago that um uh that was going to be one of the anointings he was going to be releasing right the watchman anointing so what is the watchman anointing um you read about it um in ezekiel so go and read that book okay it's really 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 good book um especially if you um are prophetic um and now like this the the watchman right uh anointing like go and read that book okay um so um back then in biblical times a city was surrounded by walls great big walls and then they had these towers right and in these towers uh watchmen were um on site at all times like round the clock and they would take turns right if you were a watchman um and your sole purpose your sole job was to sound the alarm if you saw an enemy coming towards the city um if uh there was if the city was going to be attacked the watchman was on watch and would let the city know hey we're about to be attacked okay so the prophetic anointing, it's God letting you know what uh, he's doing, right? In Amos, it says that he does nothing without letting his servants, the prophets, know, okay? Um, so with the prophetic, it's like God letting you know, uh, giving you that vision, um, letting you in on things that he's wanting to do. Um, he lets you know what's on his heart, what's on his mind. Um, he shows you things, reveals things to you, right? 
that's the prophetic now the watchman anointing is like god letting you in on what the enemy is doing okay so if there's an attack going to uh coming or, or um they're planning something they're scheming something god will let you know before and let me tell you that this anointing is amazing amazing okay god will show you before they even do anything before it arrives before that little spell in the comment section shows up before the person shows up at your door before god already showed you and you already canceled you already rebuked you already like it's so by the time it gets to you it's null and void okay it's powerless um and so that's what the watchman anointing is i feel holy spirit so strongly right now thank you holy spirit um so um what uh god uh be, he wanted me to insert that because i uh, just in case some of you are um and some of you might confuse these kinds of dreams or alerts that god is letting you in on with like oh that that dream wasn't from god or that was like demonic or that was like whatever it's like no god is showing you and he wants you to cancel he wants you to bind he wants you to rebuke that's like that's what the watchman anointing is uh it's like so don't dismiss it as like oh, that dream wasn't from god or that vision wasn't from god it's like no god is showing you what the enemy is planning what the enemy is doing okay and your job is to warn uh if it's for somebody else your job is to uh cancel by and rebuke so that it doesn't happen so by the time that it does show up or, or sometimes it won't even end up showing up because god showed you and you dealt with it before it showed up you stopped it okay um yeah so with here what god revealed to me you know it's like oh my goodness um so they tried to sacrifice because here according to scripture it says that um we belong to god we are in his hands and that nothing and nobody can snatch us from the father's hands okay um which i was like wow wow but they tried so guess what's going to happen now with the people that tried that tried to sacrifice you um that you know turned you over the enemy is going to be like hold on a minute like i can't get my sacrifice i haven't received my sacrifice and yet i already did all these things for you like where's my sacrifice i can't get that because they belong to god but the enemy is still requiring a sacrifice so the enemy is going to turn to the people who tried to sacrifice you and charge them basically so they're getting it double just how god blesses his children double your enemies are going to be charged and dealt with double from the enemy and from god so it's judgment from god and then it's like um the enemy because the enemy never got the sacrifice because you belong to god okay nobody can snatch you from the father's hands okay and the enemy's like i can't get that that's not a sacrifice like so the enemy's going to feel very like deceived and it's like wait you tried to deceive me you tried to pull one over on me and so the enemy's going to turn around to your enemies and really charge them um yeah so that's what god showed me and i'm like wow so everything that they sowed your enemies sowed they are going to reap double yeah yeah um and then um <laughs> this is crazy oh my goodness um holy spirit took me back to this dream that he gave to my daughter april 18th 2024 in this dream she dreamed that I was talking, that I was on the phone with a family member, and it's that person, okay? That I was on the phone with a family member, 
and then that I thought I muted the phone, but I didn't. Um, and then um, that I turned to the kids and I asked them um, what they want to eat, right? And they said Panda Express, right? And so I was like, okay, then we'll go to, to Panda Express. And the person that I was on the phone with that I thought muted, I muted the conversation but or, or the, the phone, but didn't heard where we were going, right? Um, and so we go to Panda Express and here I'm going to read it because this wasn't my dream. It was my daughter. So yeah, when it's a dream that I have that God gives me, it's like I can speak from it like off the top of my head. But this this was my daughter's dream. Um, we go to Panda Express and there's people there. She said there are bad people. And I locked the, the doors, the car doors, and they came at us with hammers and started to hit the car everywhere. And here, which the way she said it, oh my gosh. But nothing broke, nothing got dented or even scratched. The car was perfectly fine. Um, absolutely nothing happened to the car or us. Instead, their hammers broke. And they got so mad and then a man jumped in front of the car like on the hood of the car but then the man just fell down like something knocked him down uh, the man just fell down and so then we left we went home and we all slept in mom's room my room um yeah yeah so this person um was kind of like a double agent right they were um, uh, feeding information to your enemies, right? Um, and, um, but <laughs> it was so awesome. When we get there to the place um, where they couldn't have known that we were going there unless this person told them, right? Um, and they just start attacking but absolutely nothing happened to us. The windows didn't break, there was no dents, there was like absolutely nothing. And this made them so mad. And then at the end, this man just jumps on the hood of the car like, and then something just, they just fell off. They were just knocked down and then we left. We left, we went home and um, rested. Um, yeah and my room is always like a place of, of peace for my kids and especially my bed if they are on my bed for more than a minute they just fall asleep they just fall asleep and anytime i have people over they're always like oh there, there's just this peace and even people who have had um problems sleeping they fall asleep in my house <laughs> like on the couch they'll just fall asleep uh, but it's just like the peace of God. It's his presence. It's there and um, Yeah, and my room is like has it Way more and my kids are always like oh, I just like the way it feels here um, and so We all went home and we all fell asleep in my room Which means rest so the attacks anything that they have tried didn't work didn't work and these people, this person, they tried to sacrifice you, but you were never theirs to sacrifice. You were not their property to sacrifice. You were not, um, you like, they just picked the wrong thing. They just picked the wrong person to even think that they owned you somehow to give you up in that way to offer you as a sacrifice when you sacrifice something it's it's a sacrifice it's something that's yours that belongs to you and you're giving it up right but yeah you belong to god um and and god has been bringing up a lot the date of uh, when I was saved, 317, 317, 317. And so it's like 
um, and when he says you are his, you are his. When he says you are a new creation, you are a new creation. That includes like um, being grafted into his family. So that family members who think they have some ownership over you really don't. You belong to God. And God had been bringing that up a lot. 317, 317. And it's like, I'm nobody's property but God's. And I wasn't even a good enough sacrifice for them because I wasn't theirs. And God wants to communicate that to you today. Whoever uh, thought they sacrificed you, you weren't a good sacrifice because you weren't, didn't belong to them. For them to give you up like that. For them to sacrifice you. But the enemy wants his sacrifice and he's turning right now to your enemies and charging them. I feel Holy Spirit so strongly when I say that. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're going to reap what they sow. Everything, yeah, it's just, yeah. And so, um, be at peace. Whatever was tried has failed has failed and you're about to enter into this this great rest you don't have to fight anymore because god has fought for you he's fighting for you um he's your father and just imagine like you're this child of his and they're coming up against you and he's like no mm -mm. no it's like they, um, oh Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, there are certain, um, like protocols, right? Um, in the spirit realm, and, um, like we read this in Job, like even the enemy can't do anything without God's permission. And here, the enemy went after you, um, without permission without permission okay and like it's like the enemy crossed lines that he shouldn't have right and so everybody's about to get it yeah anybody who came up uh, against you is about to get it so yeah that's the word how he connected it it was two words and he had given me scripture which was that John 10 I'll have all scripture in the description box and then he connected it to that dream confirming again and revealing through that dream like who it was that tried to sacrifice you um so it was John 10 just read all of John 10 but uh the ones that he highlighted was um 27, 28, 29, and 30. 27 to 30. Yeah, but I recommend that you read all of John 10, okay? Um, yeah. Yeah, you're about to enter this 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 rest. Um, there is a rest from God, you know, as a fruit of the Spirit, you know, that peace. But this rest is going to be like um wow thank you holy spirit um uh peace from your enemies he is going to make your enemies be at peace with you like the attacks are going to end because the enemy has realized like wait a minute i can't touch this one i've been trying and i can't but the enemy still wants his sacrifice because the, it's like the enemy kept up his side of the bargain, but then the person that sacrificed you didn't. So now the enemy's gonna turn to that person and be like, hey, where's my sacrifice? Yeah. Okay, guys. So that's it for this one. The scripture will be in the description box. If you're led to sow, you may do so. God bless you. Bye.